Hi, this is Coral from my Sirens Atlas collection. You can find on spincushions.com. It's a pretty easy one and a nice sort of repeating pattern, kind of, but um, it's pretty fun to work up. So let's get started. I'll be using one colour throughout mine and if I'll show you how to change things if you need to, if you want to change colours. So we're starting with a magic circle or you can chain four and join it into a loop. Okay, now I'm going to chain one. And that chain one doesn't count as a stitch or anything. It's just because we're doing a round of simply double crochets UK, single crochets US. It makes it easier to work back to join up to your first one. So we need eight stitches. Eight doubles UK, singles US. One. Goodness me. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Pull it tight. Now, I will. I always have trouble figuring out which one's the right stitch, so let's count backwards. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's where we're joining up with our slip stitch. Same if you're changing colours. So there you have it, round one done. Okay, the next one is we're going to double crochet UK, single crochet US in the same space as our stitch stitch, slip stitch, chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip one stitch and do a double UK single US in the next stitch. One, two, three, four. Skip one stitch in the next stitch. One, two, three, four. Skip one stitch in the next stitch. And we are going to one, two, three, four and join with a slip stitch to our first stitch. And that is round two done. Right, round three. That's when we're going to start making our little shells. Chain three starting chain or false stitch like I like to do. You can find a YouTube video on my YouTube channel how to do that. And we're going to do two stitches in the same stitch. That's so trebles UK, doubles US. Same space as we joined in our slip stitch. Then we are going to do a double crochet UK, single crochet US in that big four chain space. Then we're going to do five triples UK, doubles US in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five. So that's all there is to this round. I'll finish off and show you how to join up. Right, so I have done my repeats. Now we have to do two stitches in the same space as our first stitch. So you can see where those stitches are worked. One, two, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of our third chain or our false stitch. Same as if you're changing colors. Actually, this one's going to be the same as if you're changing colours all the way up to the second last round, so I'll stop talking about that now. Okay, so next one, next round, do a double crochet UK, single crochet US in the same space as our slip stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip two stitches, one, two, and do a treble UK, double US in the next stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four, skip two stitches, a double UK, single US. So that's our repeat. We're doing four chain and in the middle of our five group we're doing a double crochet and in the dips we're doing a treble or a single and a double depending where you're from. So fairly easy and we'll do that a few times in this pattern. pattern. Right, so my repeats are done. All I need to do now is join with a slip stitch to that first stitch. 
Okay, and we are on to round five, which is pretty similar to round three. Just have more of our shells we'll be creating. So chain three, starting chain or false stitch, then two stitches, trebles, UK, doubles, US in the same space as our slip stitch. So in that same stitch. Then we're going to do a double crochet UK, single crochet US in the four chain space. And in the next stitch, we're going to do five stitches. Trebles UK, doubles US. One, two, three, four, five. So what we're doing is a double crochet UK single US in every four chain space and in every stitch we're doing five trebles UK doubles US. So we'll have more, we'll have twice as many, we'll have eight shells this time instead of four. I'll work my way around and show you how to finish up. Right, so repeats are done, so now I need to do two stitches in the same space as our first stitches. One, two. And join with a slip stitch to our first stitch. Okay, so the next round is very similar to round four, but this time instead of chaining four between our little stitches and tall stitches, we're going to chain three. So we start with a double crochet UK, single crochet US, chain three, one, two, three, treble UK, double US, skip two stitches, and work your stitch into the next one, chain three, one, two, three, skip two stitches, double crochet UK, single crochet US in the next stitch. So exactly the same as what we did before, just one less chain each time. I'll work around and show you how to finish. Okay, repeats are done. All I need to do now is join up with a slip stitch to my first stitch. Okay, now the next round is the same shell round, but this time we're going to end up with 16 shells instead of eight we had last time for the first time. So start the same, chain three starting chain or false stitch, two stitches in the same space, one, two, a double crochet or single crochet in the three chain space, then five stitches in the next stitch, one, two, three, four, five. So we do that all the way around. A stitch in every chain space, five stitches in every stitch, whether it's a long or a short one. I'll do that and come back and join up. All right, so I've done my all my repeats. So now all we need to do is two stitches in the same space as our first stitch. One, two, and join up with a slip stitch to our first stitch. Okay, so that is round seven done. Now next we're going to just start the squaring off. So we're going to be doing different things to what we've been doing before. So the first thing we do is chain three, starting chain or false stitch. Then three times we're going to do this mini repeat where we chain two, skip two stitches, treble UK, double US in the next stitch, chain two, skip two stitches, double crochet UK, single crochet US in the next stitch. Okay, so that's our mini repeat. Chain two, treble UK, double US, chain two, double UK, single US. So that's one of the repeats. I'm going to do that two more times. That's two of the three. Three. Then we're going to chain two, skip two stitches, treble UK, WS in the next stitch. 
and that's the end of our, oh no, sorry, chain two, skip two stitches, that's the end of our side. Next we're going to work our corner. We skip two stitches and in this stitch we do treble UK WS, chain two, and another stitch. Okay, so that's our side and that is our corner. We'll do that all the way around. I'll come back and show you how to join up. Right, so I have finished my repeats. Now all we need to do is to do a stitch in the same space as our first stitch. Now, here's where it's going to be a little bit different if you decide to change colours here. If you're not changing colours, I want you just to chain to, sorry, if you are changing colours, chain to join up with the slip stitch. If you're not changing colours, chain one and join with a double crochet UK, single crochet US to that first stitch. So not joining with a slip stitch, joining with a stitch. So insert your hook, loop to the front, yarn over through two. Okay, so each of our corners in this round is a two chain space. By chaining one and joining with a stitch, that stitch is kind of the, becomes the second chain, first chain, second chain, and we work over that stitch for our first stitch. Well, yeah, we do. <laughs> okay, so to make things a little bit easier, if you haven't done my method before, if you can't really read crochet very well yet, Pop a scrap of yarn in that big hole and that's going to show you where to work your first and your last stitches. Okay, so what we're going to do now is chain three starting chain or false stitch. We're going to do a treble UK WS over that joining stitch, so where that stitch marker is. Then we're going to do a half treble UK W half double US in the next stitch. Then we'll do another one of those in the two chain space, so a half treble or half double. Then we've got a, a mini repeat we're going to do six times. This is what it looks like. A double crochet in the next stitch, UK or single crochet US, and then one in the two chain space. So that's our mini repeat. So that's one, two, three, Six, and then we do a double crochet single UK single crochet US in the next stitch then we do a half treble UK half double US in the two chain space a half another one the same in the next stitch and that's our side done now our corners are two trebles UK two doubles US chain two and two more stitches Okay, so it's probably the trickiest round of the whole thing, but it's really not that tricky. <laughs> okay, I'll work my way around and show you where to finish off. Alright, so my repeats are done. I just need to finish off the last corner by doing two stitches in the same space as our first stitch, which is where that stitch marker is. One, two, and because this is the last round, we're going to chain two and join with a slip stitch to our first stitch. And we are all done. Just fasten that off. Weave in your ends, obviously. Now this is one that does benefit from a little bit of blocking, especially just to get these little bits nice and straight. So, oh, it looks like I didn't block this one very well. Anyway. Again, using the Bendigo Woolen Mills cotton, it's slightly larger than my Cascade Ultra Pima cotton, but that's kind. If you're using the same yarns throughout, everything is fine. Um, if this one is a little bit too big, I'm afraid you can't just leave off. Well, you could. No, you can't just leave off the last round. It's just because of the, the way the pattern is, you're better off starting again with a smaller hook, down one or two hook sizes, I'm sorry. If it's a little bit too small, just add a round of double crochet UK, single crochet US. But I think it's probably more likely to be a little bit larger than smaller. So I'm sorry about that, but just because of the 
the circle being so large and we've only got these last two rounds to square off, a smaller hook size is really your only option if, you, if it's a little bit too big for your needs. But anyway, I think it's a nice easy one, fairly quick to make. So there you go, that's Coral from my Sirens Atlas collection. So head on over to spincushions.com for some more crochet fun and sign up to my newsletters while you're there. I'll see you soon. Bye.